My name is Natalia Diavera and this is my 8 minute film pitch for my 122nd art film called The Free Lands, pitching for Kiev Molodis International Film Festival. The festival's main objective is to promote student cinematic short films to recognise new personalities in modern art film. My film will be submitted as a student film as the main requirement is for the film to be under 45 minutes. The three lands reveal how different parts of the world are contrasting to each other, but through transitioning from one motion to the next, we see how they can be connected. The film sets out to communicate how fabrics and materials can merge with natural structures through similar colours and patterns to the surroundings. Three places will be featured throughout the film, transitioning from the beach to the forest and then to the city. Through studying the locations, their individual and distinctive elements have been discovered, such as objects, colours and sounds. The free split enables the film to be split into three sections and allows the viewer to identify where each part is set. As mentioned, the objects, colours, sounds vary between each location. For example, at the beach, the objects you would see are the waves, sand and rocks. The colours you would see are blue, gold and brown. The sounds you would hear are waves and the seagulls chirping. These are short films created by artists and are of my sources of inspiration. The films I've looked at are a range of both historic and contemporary styles. This short film is called Beach and was created by Helena Bexton. She captured a selection of shots from extreme close-ups showing fine detail of the surroundings to long wide shots revealing the location. The close-up shots that caught my eye were the opening shot of the lines in the sand and at 2.16 when she captured the waves moving onto the shore. The wide shot of the man playing with the little boy next to the water at 3.08 inclined the idea to have one wide shot of the model standing in that same position. This short film is called Patterns and was created by Dave Hux. His entire film sparked the idea of me capturing repeating patterns in the environments I tend on shooting in. For example, the line work in the sand, the shadows of the trees and the windows of a tall story building. The repeating patterns create shapes in the frame. The mirroring technique he used generates hallucinogenic effects and this could be done through the reflections, for example. This short film is called London, City in Motion and was created by Jer Ali. His creative cinematic film of London influenced me to use capturing moving vehicles and people of the busy streets through both fast motion and long exposure. His smooth transitions encouraged me to do some research on exactly what transition could use. He used the whip transition technique, which is where he quickly moved the camera in one direction of where the object is moving in the shot and moved but in a different location with a different object. This short film is called Beauty in Motion by Erwin Blumfield. The film is a montage of his experimental beauty films. The effects he used are effective but not distracting from the subject. The film inspired me to create abstract effects, reverse the motion in shots and add audio. For example, sound effects of waves crashing, birds chirping and people honking their horns in their cars. I feel this changed the perception of his fashion film and created a space for the viewer to insert themselves and feel immersed in the scene. This is my storyboard for my planned film. The first five frames will display the visuals of the beach. Frames 6 to 10 will display the visuals of the forest and frames 11 to 15 will display the visuals of the city. The visuals will range from extreme close-ups capturing details to wide shots capturing the whole location. Frame 1, the opening shot, will be a close-up of the sea approaching the shore. Frame 2 will be an extreme close-up of the sand blowing in the wind across the frame. Frame 3 will be a wide shot of the model standing in the centre of a beach setting. As the waves come to the shore, the dress and her feet will be covered by the water. Frame 4 will be a mid-shot of the sun reflecting in the sea. As the light hits the sea, there will be movement. Frame 5 will be a mid-shot of the waves hitting the rocks. Frame 5 will transition into frame 6 using the whip transition technique. 
Frame six will be an extreme close-up of the leaves blowing in the wind from the left side of the frame to the right. Frame seven will be a wide shot of the sun shining through the trees, creating shadows on the floor. Frame eight will be a wide shot of the model standing in the center of a forest path between trees on either side of her. Frame 9 will be an extreme close-up of a water droplet falling into the stream. The shot will reveal a reflection of the trees above the stream. Frame 10 will be a close-up of the water falling into the stream. The whip transitioning technique will be used again to change into the final and third location. Frame 11 will be a mid-shot of a taxi driving past creating a motion blur. Frame 12 will be a wide shot of a resident from one of the city buildings opening his window. Frame 11 will be a wide shot of the model standing in the centre of a busy crossing in between buildings. Frame 14 will be a wide shot of the sun setting in the reflection of the windows. Frame 15 will be a wide bokeh shot of the city lights at night time and it will fade out to black at the end. Keith Molidus International Film Festival's main objective is to promote student cinematic short films. My short film consists of good cinematography which involves attention to detail, lighting, framing, composition, camera motion, camera angles, film selection, lens choices, depth of field, zoom, focus, colour and exposure. All of these elements focus on the art of the film. I have taken a cinematic approach due to having more experience in photography than videography and by collecting primary research I have taken inspiration from my imagery. A cinematographer refers to an individual with a camera rather than a crew of people and multiple cameras. Cinematography incorporates the production of visual aspects of my film, such as the costume design, makeup, hair design, fashion styling, etc. Films that have been previously submitted to the film festival are of a small time frame, featuring a lot of experimentation. They typically feature young individuals at as a student film competition. The scenes present the use of movement, capturing emotion through the model and how she fits into her surroundings. They show vivid colour and textures through hand-holding the camera while shooting, which is a filmmaking and video production technique. This often results in a shaky and unstable image, conveying a self-perspective and point-of-view shot selection. Thank you for listening to my film pitch.